First off, just uh, what did you just make of that atmosphere down the stretch here in the arena? Uh, it's amazing, you know. Um, it, crowds, crowds doing everything. You know, they're the ones giving us energy. Um, the fans have been great all year, and it's only getting better and better. And then, just for you guys tonight to conclude three and three after some clunkiness on this home stand, what does it mean to just be able to finish this 500 on the right note? Uh, it's big, you know. Um, we feel like uh, we let those two games. Um, um, down in uh, those two first ones um, at home. Um, we sh we, sh we should have been a lot better, but um, we finished uh, winning two two really tough games. I have to ask you, you know, about you know closing out these type of games. You know, of course, you know you was fantastic, remarkable. But I have to ask you, what, how important was it to close out a game like that at home? Uh, very important. You know, I felt like. We had a lead there with like four plus four or something with two minutes uh, to go, and uh, we kind of gave it away. But uh, the fact that it, everybody fought on that last position, I don't know how many guys tipped the ball out, you know, and then Kev made that three uh, to go up. And uh, it just shows that we don't give up. We just keep fighting. You know, um, a, a lot of times you could just put your head down, things are going our way, and uh, we kept fighting. Domas, Jordy shared after Wednesday's game that you take it upon yourself a lot to push the tempo and, and to try and make sure the team is running. Why specifically do you take that role on as the big? Um, well, I pretty much taking it out of bounds or I'm rebounding it. So uh, I, I got to do that. You know, um, it's our style of play. It's something coach wants us uh, to be top, top in the league, you know, and um, if I can do a better job of pushing the guys home to run, taking it out quicker, or bringing it up myself, um, uh, it definitely helps us. Uh, we're a really good team uh, on the run, and uh, the more we do that, it's 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 really tough to stop us. Domas, it's it's pretty hard to fathom. Like you're playing with a fractured thumb and you're shooting perfect from the field. Uh, do you sure, note? Sure. It? Yeah, you're twelve for twelve. Yeah, not bad, man. <laughs> Free throw. <laughs> Missed the free throw. Yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you notice it? Like when, when you've been out there, I mean, it doesn't look like you're paying any attention to the fact that, uh, that the thumb's fractured at all. I definitely noticed it when Kev high-fived me um, on my right hand when he, <laughs> when he was mad. Uh, so he owes me one. But, uh, you know, I'm trying to give it a go. I'm trying to just play through it, you know. Um, it's ups and downs, you know. Try not to think about it. It's great. The crowd brings the adrenaline in, so I just don't feel it. What do you make of, of Kevin's night overall? And, and also, can you take us through the, the sequence with the two offensive rebounds at the tip out to him, that, or the ball tip getting tipped out, going to him for the for the three there? Um, amazing. You know, um, he's been putting in work every day. You know, he hasn't been shooting it as well lately, but uh, we trust him. We ha we give him the green light to take any three he wants. You know, and uh, today he was making right decisions. Uh, defending, rebounding, he did a bit of everything, you know. So um, when he's like that, we have so many more options. So. Um, I feel like this is a normal form, so he's back. Domas, we saw you on the floor coaching your teammates at certain points and getting on teammates at certain points. How much are you embracing that leadership role here in Sacramento? Um, I just feel like the guys respect me. You know, they, 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 they listen. You know, I just want to get the guys going. You know, most of the time it's for, it's for a bucket for them or, you know, to get them going. You know, um, if everybody keeps their head up and everyone's motivated, you know, uh, we can go a long way. You know, um, it's a long season and everyone has to stay focused. Uh, Domas, I, forgive me if you were asked about this at the beginning, but but the just the atmosphere here tonight, the, the way that game ended, the crowd. Yeah. Um, what just your thoughts on on the way the the city seems to be rallying around you guys? Uh, the fans are amazing. Um, I said it before. Um, they're the ones who are giving us the extra energy to finish these games out. Um, they even started chanting out "Light the beam" when the rest were deciding whose ball it was. I was like, ah, this might be too early, you know. But uh, uh, we we got the win, and that's what matters. Yeah, Domas, two games in a row now where you've had a high scoring output. Um, you mentioned earlier that was something that you were maybe going to try to do more so as the year went on. Um, is that a situational when it comes to these matchups, or is that something you're looking to keep doing going forward? Uh, yeah, definitely. It depends how bigs guard me. You know, some bigs are down. Today they played small, and then they had um, an, another big playing back, you know, and I feel like the, the more we play, uh, my teammates are finding me more. You know, um, Fox, Kev, Malik, HB, everyone, you know, the, they're putting the ball easy for me and I just got to finish, you know. So the more the more games we play, um, I feel like our, our chemistry is, is is building and they know they have a, a plan B option to give it to me and I can finish. You just you just hit it on the nail. Uh, Rashawn Holmes, yep. you know, I, you know, when you entered the game, you know, for those last 10 minutes, you gave him that gesture. It's like, hey, man, thank you. Yeah. And you know how it has been yeah. for him this 
the season, but you know he's ready to play. You know he had all three of his baskets. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about him and you know his professionalism? He's a big time pro, big time professional. You know um, he's been amazing, amazing all year. He started playing in the beginning of the year, then he stopped playing. Now he's playing again, and he just stays ready. He comes in, gets his work. He's always shooting, always working on his floater, on his threes, on his free throws, you know, getting conditioning in, you know. So it's it's really big. It's really big for him to stay ready. I always told him, you know, I'm going to get in foul trouble and uh, or anything happens, you know. Um, if you have these minutes, take advantage. You know, he's a really good player in this league, you know, and uh, he shows it every time he has opportunity. I, I think... Uh, Outside of Kelly Olynyk, you might have had the best look of that Fox dunk. Just what did you make of that that dunk? And uh, was that where's that one rank? And I don't even, I don't even know how he 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 got that in. I thought he was gonna lay it up, or it was a foul, and he just dunked it with two hands and hanged on. You know, it was. I mean, the whole arena saw it. It was amazing. It was a fourth straight game for Fox with at least ten points in, in the fourth quarter. Just how have you seen him evolve uh, in, in that situation? I feel like only fourth. I feel like he's been doing that all year. You know, uh, four straight. Uh, I feel like. Uh, you know, at the end of the game, I always tell them, it's, it's you. It's your show. You know, pick and roll. Want me in it. Don't want me in it. You know, uh, I'm just going to be there if you need help. But uh, that's what he does. He's been clutch for us all year, making the right decisions, making tough shots. In a game like this, point to point, you know, um, he's kind of unstoppable. Like he said, he, he can get any shot he wants, you know, and I feel like uh, he's, he's, he, he's been making the, the right read every time. Thank you, guys.